Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We are five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Be impeccable with your word. Replace fear with love. The human mind is like a fertile ground where seeds are continually being planted. When you're impeccable with your word, your mind is no longer fertile ground for the words that come from fear. Your mind is only fertile for the words that come from love. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 127, Nasdaq down 19, S&P's flat, gold. Gold contract up $10.40, trading at 1955 an ounce. You got silver up 22 cents, $23.78 an ounce. Light sweet crude down a buck 45. $80.17 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10-year note, trading up 11 ticks right now at 115.01. The 30 up a full point, plus one tick at 130.28. And King Dollar. King Dollar is down 203 ticks, trading at 101.935. The Euro is out here at a price point of 108. The yen is at 130, and the British pound is at 123 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 9276648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world and the world of the markets, folks. What we're going to do out here today first, you know, if you were around at the open today, you've seen something that we haven't seen in quite some time. And the New York Stock Exchange saying it's a glitch. Well, tell that to the folks, okay? I, mean, I got Walmart up here for a second. Tell that to the folks in Walmart that the stock goes all the way up to 159 on the open and then goes down to 125. Now, this happened with quite a few equities, folks, okay? So the bottom line is that right now the NYSE is not saying much, okay? But can you imagine? So this is how this shook out. This is how this came down. These large institutions, you know, they put orders to buy on the open, sell on the open. So the bottom line is that, see this number here? There's people that bought at 109 today on Walmart. And there's people that had stops in that got stopped out at one. Who knows what price they got stopped out? It went down 125. Newmont, there's, there's a slew of them out here. What do you see this? I mean, it's just, it's, it's amazing, man. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a mind blow. <laughs> Look at Newmont, man. Newmont goes to $60, then down to 47, it's trading 57. Um, Morgan Stanley, Wells Fargo, you're talking about some of the biggest stocks in the country, folks, okay? Well, this is a one way. Morgan Stanley was a one way. Uh, it, it basically opened at 84, um, opened at the lowest. So that's, that's a, this is going to get so intriguing as to see what they basically do about these trades. And, you know, what has happened in the past, just so you know, is that most of their trades have stuck when this happens. The, the mind blower of this particular one is um, the, the aspect of, the large institutions are the ones that actually put, you know, we've, we've seen it at the close a lot, okay? Market on close. They sell market on close. Well, what you don't see as much, folks, is just as many market on open orders. And if they have to stick, these money managers are going to go right out of their mind because the bottom line is that, um, just like when I brought up Walmart, okay, the bottom line, that market on open was right to the sky. So we'll see where it's going to shake out. Market-wise out here, let's go to Microsoft first, because Microsoft's coming out with numbers after the close today. Uh, they're looking for $52 billion. Right now, the low for the year is 213 the high is 315 They're looking for 15, uh, $52 billion to the top line at $2.30 to the bottom line. Now, when we look at Microsoft, what's so cool about this, we're going to see um, how this ABC structure inside the NDX100, as well as the NASDAQ, comes out, because if... It's going to play out inside of the indices. What's going to happen is that you're going to see Microsoft also did an ABC structure up. And on the ABC for Microsoft, it's a 23.8 A to B. So that's going to give you a price projection out here, um, you know, up to this 253 area. So we're 241. You can see what happened yesterday. You did 31 million shares. You take it out the 30 million. And so what's so cool about this is that knowing that you have one of the NDX main equities that have done the same thing as the Qs, and we'll see whether it performs. That's the bottom line. And then Apple, you know, bottom line, also is an ABC structure on the way up. We take a look at Apple. Bottom line is that that 
Apple is a 14.8 A to B. Uh, that's going to get you into, let's see, what do we got? 36, 149. And you can see 149. The thing that's pretty amazing about this, all of this means, folks, okay, is that you get to the top of the range. The larger ABC down is still in place. This is, <laughs> this is where this gets really wild. I was on TD Ameritrade this morning, and, you know, I do these three trades where I'm for about a half hour. And the bottom line is that that's what they're saying. Oh, well, you're bullish. Says, no, I'm not bullish. We're trading. And the bottom line is between Apple and Microsoft, they want to go higher. But all they're doing is all they're doing is going back up to the top of the range. That's, that's how they're shaking out. Uh, if we go over to the queues and you take a look at the queues out here, what you're going to see inside of the queues, yesterday, you took out the B point with plenty of volume, 52, mil 52 million shares versus 47. And, you know, you're coming into this uh, big 80 million share there, but it's saying it wants to actually go two points beyond that area. So this is going to be pretty cool watching how this whole thing shakes out. Some of the higher volume equities out here. Um, well, here, let me see. We got a target that wants to look at Nike. Um, so if we take a look at Nike, same setup. Look at this thing. <laughs> oh, man. So open. Yeah, it did the same thing. So if there's now this is see this is where this gets interesting. Watch this, folks. So, what does the NYSE do when you have a, you have a buy on the open? Which in a Nike's place, a buy on the open would have been like heaven, one hundred and twelve dollars. Okay. Versus we go over to Walmart. Watch this, and then you have the buy on the open, and you can see that the buy on the open was one hundred and fifty nine dollars. So the real question is. The, the last time that this happened, it was this dramatic, okay? The bottom line is that, uh, well, the, it was the May crash, that was different. Uh, but bottom line, most of these trades always stay. That's the real trip inside of uh, the context of where we are right now. So we'll, we'll see uh, how this uh, sh shakes out. One of uh, Dave's telling me there's going to be adjustments after the close. Uh, well, you can ma imagine that. If there's adjustments after they close, you imagine how much they've been adjusting all day long because you can't depend on the exchanges. That's the real bottom line. So we'll see where this whole thing shakes out. You stay right there, folks. We got our man, Mr. Fred Ernest, coming up, the CEO of Vista Gold. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 118. NASDAQ's down 28. S&P's off two. We'll come right back.